Welcome to the tutorial on set term and variations in output in GNU plot. In this tutorial, we will learn about interactive terminal setting, generating a plot for printing and sharing, save the plot in PostScript and SVG image formats, save and reset the terminal setting, ASCII output command and plot sinex in ASCII format. To record this tutorial, I am using Debian Linux 9.3, GNU plot 5.2.6 and gedit text editor 3.22. To follow this tutorial, Learner must be familiar with high school mathematics. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Open the terminal and change the working directory to desktop. Enter the command as seen on the screen. Type new plot and press enter to open new plot. Notice the terminal type is shown here as X11. For some users, QT or WXT terminal will be the default terminal. GNU plot supports several types of terminals. Let's open the details about terminal types using the help documentation. I will clear the screen. Enter the command help space set space term. The help documentation for the terminal opens. The set terminal command allows us to set the type of output to be generated. This is commonly used together with set output command. This directs the output to a file or a device. The prompt reads as press return for more, so press enter. If needed, press enter again till you notice the terminal list on the screen. Nearly 40 types of terminals are supported by Nuplot. For example, X11 and Xterm are interactive terminals. They help to plot graphs on the screen. PostScript and SVG terminals direct output to a file in their respective formats. The output can be saved and edited by the user. These aid the user in printing and sharing of graphs. Next, we will explore the options for PostScript terminal. The prompt is a subtopic of set term indicating the user to enter a subtopic. Let's access help files for PostScript file generation. I will type PostScript in the subtopic of set term prompt and press enter. Detailed syntax options for generating PostScript file is shown on the screen. The orientation can be set to landscape or portrait. Color, duplex option and size of the plot and other details can also be set here. Press enter as seen at the prompt. More details about the settings appear on the screen. You may pause the video and explore more about the command options. I will press Ctrl C to exit the help details. I will clear the terminal. Enter the command plot space sinex with x in parenthesis. Sinex versus x graph appears on the screen. Close the graphics window. Go to the terminal. Next, let's make a postscript file for the sinex plot. Type set space term space postscript space landscape. This sets a PostScript capable terminal in landscape orientation. Next, 
type set the space output space in double quotes sinex.ps. This sets output in the user specified file name sinex.ps. Enter the command plot space sinex to generate output to the file sinex.ps. The output files are generated in the working directory. I will clear the screen. Let's check the path of GNU plot. Enter the command pwd. The path shown here is desktop directory. Go to desktop and notice the newly created file. Double click on the icon to open and view the file. We will close the output file and go back to GNU plot. I will clear the screen. Let's save the output to a SVG image file. For this, enter the command as shown here. Type set space term space SVG. I will continue to add more specifications on the same line. I will set a cyan background for the plot. I will also set the output image pixel size to be 400 by 400. Now specify a file name for the plot. Type the following command. Set space output space in double quotes sinex.svg. The command show palette color names returns the color codes in GNU plot. The output shows color name, corresponding hex code and the RGB code. You may use this command to know more about color codes for different colors. I will clear the screen. Enter the command plot space sinex to generate the SVG image. Next, go to desktop and notice the sinex.svg file that is generated. Open the sinex.svg file. View the square 400 by 400 pixel image of the graph. The background has cyan color as specified. We will close the output file and go back to GNU plot. We can save the terminal setting for future use. Type save space term space in double quotes svg dot term. Let's go to the desktop. Notice the newly created svg dot term file. I will open it in a text editor. This file will have the details of the color and size as we entered. We will close the output file and go back to GNU plot. To reset the terminal setting to the default state, type the following command. Enter the command set space term space pop. The reset command does not reset the terminal settings. Now we are back on the interactive terminal. I will clear the screen. Enter the command plot space sinex with x in parenthesis. Now the plot is generated in the graphics window with the initial settings. Close the graphics window. ASCII output can also be generated in GNU plot. At the prompt, enter the command set space term space dump. ASCII code is uniform across all operating systems. Hence, the files are portable across all operating systems. Enter the command plot space sinex with x in parenthesis. This prints ASCII text art output results. I will zoom out the sinex plot on the screen. The output is seen on the terminal screen. Notice the difference from the interactive terminal output. Enter the command Q or quit to quit GNU plot. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about terminal types, 
saved the output to different file types, created customized outputs, saved the terminal setting, reset the terminal setting, learned about a dump terminal command, and generated an ASCII output. For assignment, plot the following functions. Save cos x versus x plot in SVG file format. Change the background color and size in the output file. Set terminal to dump. Generate cos x versus x plot in ASCII format. The completed assignment looks similar to this. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.